Hello everyone, welcome back to Galaxy Infotech tutorial series. In this video, we are going to see how to install AWS CLI in Linux instance. These are the steps I am following to install. Same steps I am going to uh, add in the description of this video. You can follow that. And if you want to install AWS packages in Windows instance, you just need to download and install it. Let's jump into AWS console to install AWS CLI in Red Hat Linux instance. So this is my AWS console and Galaxy Infotech is our brand. I'm launching an, a new instance. The instance should be Red Hat Linux. If you go with Amazon Linux, it is by default, it comes with AWS CLI, so you, you need not to install it. So going with Red Hat Linux, T2 Micro, and uh, I'm not changing any default options over here. Next, it requires 10 GB of disk for root volume. Add name I'm giving giving as AWS CLI test instance. So next i'm going with some existing security group i can go with the web security group it is open for port number 22 and mumbai keeper i'm choosing launch instances i'm pausing this video because it takes a while to launch an instance okay my instance is ready now i'm going to take this ip address public IP address to connect to my instance. I'm loading my key pair. Open it up. Yes, I want to connect. EC2 minus user. I'm just going to become a root. Now, I will just execute AWS commands. AWS commands starts with AWS, followed by service name followed by the command if you see here it is showing that aws command not found nothing but whatever you are trying to execute it cannot able to understand so you need to install aws cli if it is already installed it will tell you that syntax error syntax error means aws cli is installed it cannot able to understand command not found nothing but aws cli is itself is not installed so i am going with our steps First, we need to check Python version. As I told you, AWS Red Hat Linux instance come with Python installed. And this is the command to download your AWS CLI. AWS CLI bundle has been downloaded. I can just list it out. Yes, I have AWS CLI bundle. Next, I want to unzip unzip command doesn't work i will just show you i will try to unzip it unzip followed by sorry yeah so it is telling that command not found nothing but unzip also not installed you can install that by using m install unzip minus y nothing but it is going to install unzip software unzip packages in your red hat system yeah, it's done. Now I will try to unzip my AWS CLI bundle. Yeah, it's completed. Now you can see a folder called AWS CLI hyphen bundle. And this is the command you need to use to execute. Yes, I want to install AWS CLI. Once it is installed, if you run any command, it tells you that either syntax error if you if you wrongly typing if it is you correctly typed it can go and fetch those details and give it for you fine it has been installed now aws s3 ls i'm trying to do so you can see here it is unable to locate the credentials so and so where we need to use either aws role or you need to use access key ad and secret access key just follow our next video how you can use IAM roles because 
uh, using AWS credentials, I mean to say access key ID and secret access key is not your best practice. So we skip that video and we directly creating a video for how to use IAM roles to access S3 buckets from EC2 instance. Thank you. If you like this video, you can share with your friends. And if you have any doubts, you can comment or like us. Thank you. We'll see you. In